Hi, I'm Elliot Miller, and welcome to this video tutorial from the cast. In this video, we'll be explaining how to use the encoder OBS with our service. Open Broadcaster software is a very powerful tool. It's free to download and has a wonderful community that drives it forward. However, as a community-driven free open software, it is not as user-friendly as some of the paid services out there. I bring this up because as part of this tutorial to make OBS work with the cast, we're going to have to go into some files and edit them. It's nothing complicated, and if you're comfortable with computers, it's not a difficult process. However, if that does sound intimidating to you, perhaps OBS is not the best encoder for you, even if it is free. So bear that in mind, watch this tutorial, and think if OBS is the right encoding software for you. If not, have a look at one of our other tutorials and find one that is. Let's get started then. I've launched OBS. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Profiles and create a new one. And we'll call this OBS Tutorial. Next, I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to have a look at our encoding options. I just want to check the bitrate is at 1000 kilobytes, and that we have CBR padding. We have AAC codec for audio, which is fantastic, and it's stereo. However, the bitrate is rather low, so I'm going to up that a little bit. We're going to skip broadcast settings for just a moment and look at video. Oh yes, I need to apply and press OK to save my changes. In video, we can change the resolution if we want to, and downscale it, but I'm fine with the way it is. I just want to check audio, and I've got the correct audio and microphone devices, and I don't think I need to add any boost. Okay, now let's look at broadcast settings. The first thing we want to check is that OBS is in the mode live stream, and the streaming service we want is custom. As always, we need four pieces of information to stream to uh, Akamai via the Dakar service. We need our RTMP URL, our stream key, our username, and our password. You may notice there's nowhere here to put in our username and password. So we'll get back to that in a moment. First things first is I'm going to get the URL and stream key. So we're here at our DACAS channel and we're going to go to encoder setup. We're just going to check that our server is set to where we want it to be and that our resolution is the resolution we are using to stream in. We can also adjust our bitrate and add other bitrates if we want. Once we've done that, we go to Other RTMP Encoder. And you'll see we have our login and password. We'll need this information, as well as our stream URL and stream name. So I'm going to make a note of our login and password. I'm going to copy and paste our RTMP URL and stream name into OBS. Great. Now that that's done, we just need to do the second step. We have our RTMP URL and stream key in OBS. So we're going to hit apply and OK. We still need to add our username and password though. And this is where it gets a little more complicated and a little more OBS-y. I'm going to go to settings, open configuration folder. This will allow me to go into Profiles, and I'm going to change a line of text in the OBS Tutorial Profile. But before I make changes to the OBS Tutorial Profile, I need to close OBS, otherwise the settings will not just save properly. 
This is very important. We must close OBS. Okay, so now I'm going to open the OBS tutorial file, which will open in Notepad. And what we want to do is scroll down to Publish. This is where we are going to put in our information of the username and password. To do that, I simply type username equals and password equals. And then we're going to put in our username and password. Great. Now that that's done, I hit control save and I close this notepad. Okay. So we've put our RTMP URL into the broadcast settings of OBS as well as our stream key. And now I've gone into the profile and added the username and password under the section publish. We can also add an automatic save stream to file option to OBS so that everything we stream is automatically recorded to our computer. We're now all set to start broadcasting to the cast with OBS. I'm going to add a source so that there's something to see. I'm going to add a video capture device and I'm going to use my other webcam. I can click preview stream to see what that looks like before having to actually broadcast. I have my microphone and audio here which I can adjust as I want to, or mute entirely. I'm going to stop the preview now, and I'm going to start streaming. So I hope this tutorial has helped you to get started with OBS. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and bye bye.